Hey guys, it's Saga from Techworks. If you're watching this video, chances are you're tired of charging your iPhone with the tiny 5 watt charger that comes in the box. And you're probably looking for a faster and a more efficient charging solution to juice up your new iPhone. I've got the iPhone XS Max and it comes with a 3174 mAh battery. This is the biggest battery that Apple has ever included on an iPhone yet. And they're still shipping it with the 5 watt charger which takes forever to completely charge this phone. So in an effort to find the fastest and most efficient way to charge this new iPhone, I decided to compare the charging speeds of few of the other chargers available in the market. For this test, I used the 5W standard slow charger which comes in the box just as a reference to see how long it takes to fully charge the iPhone XS Max. And I compared it with the 12W iPad charger, 18W USB-C power delivery charger which comes with the new 11 and 12.9 inch iPad Pro, 30W USB-C power delivery charger which Apple sells separately and I also used an 18W power bank and a couple of wireless fast chargers just to make sure I am covering most of the charging solutions available. I was also looking at the 61 and 87W USB-C adapters which come with the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Pros respectively. Both these chargers can charge your iPhone pretty fast. But these kind of chargers are not the best when it comes to longevity of the battery on your iPhone. So I decided not to include them in this test. Now I was very careful in performing these charging tests. I drained the iPhone each time to 1% and then plugged it in while starting the stopwatch. And I was checking the battery percentage every 15 minutes until the phone was completely charged. I did this every time for all the 6 chargers and just to be sure that the numbers are correct, I performed this test 2 times with each charger. Before we look at the numbers, let us take a moment to know about today's sponsor, Skillshare. It's an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, technology, photography and much more. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you and your new year goals. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. I am in the middle of learning video editing in Premiere Pro and fundamentals of photo editing. These are just a few examples and they literally have thousands of classes in various categories. Skillshare is also super affordable where an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And better yet, the first 500 people to sign up with my link in the description will get 2 months of Skillshare Premium for free. To know more about Skillshare, click on the link in the description. Alright, so here are the charging numbers. In the first 15 minutes, with the 5W charger, 10S Max was able to reach just 10%. With the 7.5W wireless charger, it was at 11%. 12W charger got it to 18%. 18W iPad charger got it to 25%. With the 18W power bank, it was able to reach 20% and the 30W USB-C charger pushed the iPhone to 28%. So we can already see that the USB-C power delivery chargers are charging the iPhone XS Max at a much faster rate. After 30 minutes, 5W charger got it to 18%, 7.5W wireless charger got it to 20%, 12W iPad charger got it to 35%, 18W USB-C iPad charger got it to 52%, 18W power bank got it to just 35% and the 30W USB-C charger got it to 53%. After 1 hour, 5W charger was able to get the iPhone XS Max to 35%, fast wireless charger got it to 38%, 12W iPad charger got it to 63%, 18W power delivery USB charger got it to 80%, 18W power bank pushed it to 66% and the 30W iPad charger was able to get it to 85%. After 80 to 85 percent, charging speeds are dropped and the battery takes more time to get to its full capacity no matter the charger that you are using. So the 30W USB-C power delivery charger was able to completely charge the iPhone XS Max in 1 hour and 37 minutes. In the same time, 18W power delivery charger got it to 97 percent, 18W power bank got it to 87 percent, 12W iPad charger was able to get it to 85 percent, wireless charger got it to 59 percent and the 5W wall charger got it to 52%. Here is the time that all the remaining chargers took to completely charge the iPhone XS Max. So at 1 hour and 37 minutes, 30W charger was the quickest to get the iPhone XS Max to 100%. But this charger costs 4500 rupees and you will also need to purchase the USB-C to lightning cable separately which will set you back by another 1600 rupees. 18W USB-C part delivery charger will get you to 100% in 1 hour 45 minutes. But you will still have to purchase the USB-C to lightning cable separately even if you have this charger because you already own one of the latest iPad Pros. The 12W iPad charger and the 18W power bank 
both got the iPhone to 100% in about 2 hours and 15 minutes. And with these chargers, you don't need to buy the lightning cable separately, you can just use the one that came with your iPhone. Both these charging options are available for about 1500 rupees. And I feel these are the best solutions that you might want to use if you want to strike a good balance between charging speeds and the price that you want to pay for it. 5W charger and 7.5W wireless charging would take little over 3 hours and 30 minutes to charge this phone completely. So when it comes to quickly juicing up your iPhone, both of them are basically useless. So there you have it. Use the 12W iPad charger or the 18W Xiaomi power bank if you want an economic way to quick charge your new iPhone. These charging speeds are also good for the overall health and longevity of the battery on your phone. If you are ready to spend more and need even faster charging speeds, go with the 18W USB-C power delivery charger from Apple instead of the 30W one. You can get the 18W charging brick and USB-C to lightning cable in the same price that the 30W adapter alone comes in. And the difference in the charging speeds is very less. Also be aware that constantly charging your phone with a 30W charger might reduce the health of your battery at a faster rate. There are other third-party 29W chargers available from Aoki and Anchor at cheaper prices. I did not include those chargers in this video because here in India, due to the import taxes and all, those chargers are priced higher than Apple's original chargers. I have used the iPhone XS Max as an example in this video since it has the biggest battery on any iPhone yet. But these chargers will work the same way on any of the recent iPhones. Considering the increasing prices of iPhones, I strongly think Apple should at least start shipping these 12W chargers with the next generation iPhones if not the 18W ones. If you guys want to check them out, I will leave links to all the chargers and cables that I have used in this video in the description section. That is it for this video guys. Again, a big shout out to Skillshare for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. Make sure you check them out by clicking on the link in the description section. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.